Hey, what is up guys? I'm on my new PC and my new channel, and I'll be creating a new FPS guide. But this is mostly towards Gary's mod, but it works on many other games as well. First off, we're going to go into NVIDIA Control Panel. Uh, you will need a NVIDIA GPU to access this. Um, so you can basically just right-click on your desktop, NVIDIA Control Panel, or bottom right here, right-click on this, and NVIDIA Control Panel. Once you have this open, click on Manage 3D Settings, then Program Settings. Um, keeping this checked marked will only show the prank games if found on your computer, but if you don't see the program or game or whatever you want to use or change, um, on the drop down box here when it's checked, just uncheck it. Once it's unchecked, you can click on the drop down box and you can find a bunch of games and softwares that you want to change and you can do it there manually but I prefer to just keep it checked to see what I have and I just click on Gary's mod and there we go. Image sharpening. Image sharpening is just purely just looks um, but I keep it off because it doesn't make my game look better just I don't know it looks grainy sort of. Um, Antitropic filtering um, and I keep it on application controlled. What this means is um, you can change the actual setting inside of Gary's mod itself or the game whatever game so but if you keep it on 4x, 8x, 16x, um, and you change it in game, it won't change a thing because it'll already have it on 4x, 8x, or 16x, or whatever you have it on. <clears throat> um, so I just keep it on application controlled so I can change it within the game. Now, I'm not going to be explaining everything, but if you hover over these, you can see the descriptions and typical uses scenarios. And then, for instance, if it improves FPS, lowers FPS, etc. But sometimes it's a bit buggy, so you just need to move your or hover out and then hover back in. Alright, there we go. So you can see typical usage scenarios. Turn FXA on to improve image quality with lesser performance impact and other anti alias settings and the other one. Uh, I just keep it on. Works for me. Camera correction. Um, so it says here, select on to improve the quality and color of 3D images. I don't think this changes FPS that much because I haven't seen anything or any type of difference, so I just keep it on. Um, supposedly it makes my game look better, but I can't tell. Anti-aliasing mode, this this is on application control. You can change it in-game, inside of your settings. Um, there's off, enhance the application setting, override any application settings. I just keep it application controlled and if you see these little um, green NVIDIA logos, it means that's the recommended. So I just keep it on that. Oh, uh, if these are great, you can't use them unless you change it. Transparency. I just keep this off. I honestly don't know what it does. It allows you to minimize the visible. I'm pretty sure this, this changes your FPS a lot, so I just keep it off. Yeah, yeah, this... Yeah, anti-aliasing. Yeah, this will this will affect your FPS a lot. And then Kudu's GPUs. If you have more than one GPU, you can just click on this, and click on here, and then the second or third or whatever, how many ever GPUs you have. But if you just click on this, just use all low latency mode on. Just always keep it on on. I always keep select on so my latency is low. I right, said so select on to prior towards latency by limiting queued frames to one. So I'd always take lower FPS over high latency. And if you don't know what latency is, for example, a really simplified version is if you move your mouse, the time it takes for your um, to get a response on your monitor, pretty much, or something like that. Max frame rate off. You can always cap it, I believe. Yeah, if you just keep it on, you can keep it at 60, 120, whatever, but I just keep it off. Multi-frame sample day. Don't know what that is to be honest, but I just keep it off because it's recommended. OpenGL rendering. Choose your GPU. Power management mode. This is one of the big ones. This is one of the actual very big ones. <clears throat> you can do optimal power, adaptive, and prefer maximum performance. Always go prefer maximum performance. Shader cache. It just increases your loading times, I believe. Um, enable the cache, reduce stutter, and improve loading times. Yeah, disable the cache to save disk space. So if you're low on disk space, turn it off. But if you want improved speeds, 
um, and reduce stutters, just turn it on. Um, I've seen significant faster loading times on GTA because whoever has played GTA know loading times are very, very slow. Um, texture filtering here on for higher performance with a minimal loss in image quality. And then I just keep it on, negative LOD bias. Select allow for higher performance, allow texture filter quality, high performance. This is also important. It's, um, it's important as the power management mode. Just keep it on high performance and you'll get the best FPS you can. Trilinear optimization. Um, it says on for higher performance, so I just keep it on. I don't exactly know what threaded optimization is, but if you look in the typical usage scenarios, most new applications should benefit from the auto select or on settings. So new rich games, yeah, you can do it, but Gary's Mod is 16 years old, so I should just keep it off. Triple buffering off. This is for VSync, I believe. Yeah, turning on the setting improves performance when vertical sync is also on. So turning on the setting improves performance when vertical sync is also turned on. So you're always going to keep VSync off, so you're just going to keep that off as well. And virtual reality pre render frames. So again, like I said, I would take lower FPS over a high latency because um, it's just you can't play the game with high latency, in my opinion. But lower FPS you can handle with. Um, if you increase this, yes, you'll get um, better FPS, but the latency will just be horrible, and you'll die. If you if you play any FPS games or anything like type of shooting that you have to react quickly or anything, like it's just terrible. Just keep it on one. Trust me, I've tried it before, but it's just not worth it. So those are the NVIDIA control panel settings, which work. And then you just press apply here, then restart your Gary's mod, and it should work takes a bit of time and then, and then um for you laptop people you can go to the bottom right here right click on your power settings or whatever but if you're on pc you can just power power and sleep settings you go to additional power settings right here um select high performance this will increase your fps in a lot of games just select high performance now this is directed towards gary's mod and tf2 players i think you can do it on tf2 i haven't tried <clears throat> so you open up your file here, go to here, find your Steam, Steam apps, common, Gary's mod, Gary's mod again, CFG, and auto exec. Now, a quick simplified version is these are all basically commands that you can put into console in game, but um, it puts the commands in game when you start, start Gary's mod, start the actual game. So for instance, um, these are the most common ones. This um, enables multi-core. Um, so when you when you start up the game, it'll run all these commands automatically. Now, if you go to Chrome and search up Gary's mod auto exec FPS, and this is one really popular one right here. Now. It says raw paste out of one, two, and three. Okay. And then you can look through these, and on the right side of the double slashes, you can see um, what it does. And you can individually pick out one, right? And then put it into your um, little notepad here. And then um, you can disable sprays, you can disable shadows, enable them, um, disable facial features. And then um, these are all graphical settings, which um, he also says here, you probably don't want to mess with this. So you just highlight all, control C, then control V in here. Now, I specifically went through like all of that and picked out the ones that are good for my PC. It all depends. You just gotta choose which one you like. Um, it takes a bit of time, just, just be patient because it'll be worth it cause, because this significantly improves your FPS. Uh, depending on what type of commands you put in here. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, I usually post monolith content, but this is sort of a new thing that I'm going to try to do. 